But I, I want you guys to take away from it this. And I wrote about it years ago. Uh, long ago, I stopped worrying about when the thing I want will come. And it started in football, when, when I would train and I would lift weights and I would run with the hope of getting bigger, faster, stronger, quicker. And for years, it was to no avail, right? For years, there was no reward, it seemed. And I wasn't getting bigger, I wasn't getting faster, I wasn't getting much stronger. And I got frustrated and I got sad. And there were times I tell, I tell my students, there were times when I would literally be in a workout and start crying and, and wonder like, when, why was I doing this? Why was I working out? Why, why was I trying to get stronger and eating right and taking protein shakes? And I wasn't getting any bigger. I would see myself in the mirror and I would see this skinny person and, and, and that, that had no, no reason to believe I could play football at a high level. And then, and then one day it clicked. One day it clicked in two ways. It clicked that, that I was going to do the work regardless. So waiting around for, the, for the, the carrot to show up, for the gift of whatever I was chasing to reveal itself was useless. And I realized after doing that, that it's the letting go of the need to have a reward, the letting go of the expectation of reward that makes the reward possible. I'll say it again. It's the letting go of the expectation that you deserve something, that you've earned something. It's the letting go of that feeling that makes that thing available to you. And so what I want you guys to take away from this is that I have an unconditional love for the process of chasing greatness. I unconditionally love the work that is needed to become who I want to become. Even though I'm not sure I would ever become that. Let me say it again. I have an unconditional love for the process and the work needed to become what I want to become, even if I know I may never become what I want to become. Now in that is some, is some serious, a serious realization, guys, that only when you are willing to work for what you want in your life, unconditionally, will it come to you. So if you want to be a better football player or a better soccer player or a better field hockey player, you have to be willing to work, to lift weights, to run, to eat, to go to bed. Whether or not a, a, a spot on the roster, a starting spot, a scholarship is guaranteed to you. You have to love that process, love that journey with unconditional love not expecting something in return. You can't tell yourself, I'm gonna run and lift as long as I get faster. I'm gonna run and lift for so long, but if I don't start, what's the use? You have to love the process unconditionally. So I've been doing these videos. I'm not sure how many people are watching them. I don't go back and check how many likes I got, how many comments I got. I try to give the best version of me I try to give insight. I try to give knowledge. I try to share with you my vulnerabilities, what I've learned in almost 50 years of living on this earth, good and bad. And I do that regardless of what the outcome is, regardless of who likes it, regardless of what that means to my bottom line. I understand that the more I do this, the better I get at, at, at speaking and, and, and evolving and, and revealing who I am. The better I get at that, the better I'll become a speaker, a greatness coach, and that will eventually, I believe, present to me opportunities 
financially, opportunities to fulfill my purpose. But I don't do it for that. I do it because I love every day waking up and becoming a better version of me. I do it because I love every day figuring out that I'm not where I want to be. I'm here. But today, there's an opportunity for me to take one step closer to there. I won't get there today, but I don't need to stay here today. And so I do this process unconditionally. Right? I work out, I train unconditionally. I study, I read unconditionally. I give to my son and my daughter. <coughs> I give to my wife. I give to those around me, not always perfectly, not always in the right way, but I do it unconditionally. And so I want you guys to, to, to really look at yourself in the mirror. Are you giving of yourself unconditionally? Are you working on your exercise and your diet program? Are you approaching your, your desire to be leaner and fitter unconditionally? Or do you only do it as long as you see results? Right? Are you approaching your, your ability to get better grades unconditionally? Do you study only when you know you can get an A? Are you approaching your relationships unconditionally? I hope you're not. I mean, are you, are you doing for your son or daughter? Are you doing for your husband or wife? Are you doing for your friends only if they reciprocate? Now, you want your dreams. You want those with whom you have relationships to reciprocate. But you don't do it. You don't love with the expectation of reciprocity. You love to love. You love for love's sake. And so I want you guys to begin to, to love the process of the work. I call it an unconditional love for work. An unconditional love for the process. <clears throat> an unconditional love to do whatever I have to do to become the best version of me. And whether or not what I'm doing it for shows up today or shows up next week or next month or next year or never is irrelevant. If I never ever speak at a huge arena, which I will, I will, I will be okay because every day I'm doing it to get better. I'm not doing this expecting that. I know at some point it will produce that, but I'm not doing this expecting that. <clears throat> and so I want you guys to take away from this lesson um, the fact that you can become whatever you want, but let go of the expectation of getting whatever you want. Figure out what's necessary to get there and then do those things with unconditional love. <clears throat>